Hello. Let me tell you about a fantastic chart from Axios this week and why every chart is a compromise. So it's all about trucks and the F-150 Ford truck. And for our DataViz nerd friends, they gave us this little bit of bait, which I've taken hook, line and sinker. Why is this chart genius? It's all about the baseline. They chose the baseline to be the back of the cab, thus enabling us to see very clearly that beds got shorter and cabs got longer. Why is this cool? Because normally we think of our baselines being down at the bottom of the chart. But you know what? When you do that, it all kind of looks a bit aesthetically clunky and the length of the cabs isn't obvious because the baselines are no longer standard for the cabs. So that's why we do the baseline this way. It's a genius chart. Congratulations, Axios. Now, this also isn't just about trucks. This is about all your data, whatever it is. Let's look at another great example, population pyramids. You remember these? You may remember these from geography, but the bar charts showing population in a country uh, across different age bands. Normally they're rotated this way. This is a great chart if you want to know how many females there are compared to females in other age bands or the same for males. It's a terrible chart if you want to know whether there are more women than men at any given age band because of the baseline. It's also a terrible chart if your question is, what is the total population at each age band? I can't tell you because it's the baseline doesn't let me do that. To answer that question, you could change the baseline, have something like this. Now I can see total population at each age band, but just like the truck change, my females don't have a common baseline and so I can't actually see their total values any time. And here you go, every chart is a compromise. In this case, choosing the baseline changes what you can see in your chart.